back with another video y'all i'm so glad for this laptop y'all could y'all could hear what i have to say now <laughs> my phone was so janky i don't know what's wrong with the speaker on it it would just go in and out i'm so glad now yeah i stuck it through for them like three days so um this video is going to be about a topic that makes a lot of people in relationships uncomfortable and i just want to break some shit down because Y'all got the game all the way fucked up. <laughs> I'm sorry. This video is about going through your significant other's phone. We gonna take it there. Y'all know I'm gonna push them buttons and I'm gonna try to open y'all minds because some people are so closed-minded, they actually think that they are right. And I'm just blown away. Okay, so say you're in a relationship. You've been in a relationship for a while and you know <laughs> it's whatever it, it is what it is whether it's a good relationship bad relationship whatever y'all are sticking it together y'all are trying to work it out y'all don't plan on leaving each other y'all are trying to fucking be together i don't care what type of relationship it is if y'all are living together y'all paying bills together y'all doing real um real relationship type stuff this is not no play play relationship this is the real deal I don't understand what the big issue is about going through somebody's phone. It's just a phone. I feel like only the people who have something to hide are the people who have a problem with somebody touching their phone. Because it's just a phone. It's not like no money's involved. <laughs> like it's not nothing. It's just a phone. It's just a device. It's just like this laptop that I'm on. If someone was to grab my laptop, I wouldn't be like, oh, shit, you can't go on my laptop. I would be like, okay, make sure you charge that hoe because when I'm ready to use it, I want to use it. <laughs> so just make sure you charge it up. It's not no big deal. People who are being sneaky, those are the people who don't want you going through their phone. Don't be fucking stupid. Don't be fucking stupid and listening to these people talking about, oh, if you trust somebody, you shouldn't have to go through their phone. Are you fucking retarded? You was born yesterday. <laughs> Huh? You trying to marry this person? You trying to be with this person forever? Y'all paying bills together? They got the password to your debit card, credit card in their hands. Like, you got kids with this person? Y'all, y'all are real. This is a real. This is not no high school last type relationship. If you're a grown adult, y'all living together. Y'all got kids. Y'all are really trying to work it out. How you gonna tell somebody they, they can't go through your phone? And how are y'all people actually following suit with that? Are you fucking retarded? <laughs> are you stupid? Oh, shit. Now, I'm not saying... I'm not saying just it's okay for somebody to just have your phone like it's there. That's not what I'm saying. Because I would get annoyed if somebody just kept picking up my phone like it was theirs. I'll pay this bill. Ain't nobody texting you. So, no, this is my phone. But I'm not going to trip. If, like, occasionally somebody asks me, yo, let me see your phone real quick. Let me check up on you. Let me see that device real quick. I'm not going to trip because I'm not doing anything. If you want to see it here, there you go. Here's the password. There's no, You're not going to find nothing. You might find, like, what type of... I'll watch. <laughs> you might see stuff like that. But I, I don't care about stuff like that. I wouldn't have no problem with somebody going through my phone because I wouldn't be doing anything. I feel like this generation is so messed up. People be letting stuff slide that shouldn't even... Are you stupid? You're living with a person, having unprotected sex with a person. Y'all got bills together. Y'all got kids together. Y'all want to move to a different state together. Y'all driving each other's cars. You got Y'all got mad shit going on. But the phone is off limits? Why? Why do you think somebody's phone would be off limits, baby? Like, why do you think? And then people also say if you go looking for something, you're going to find. So, to me, what that sounds like is you know your person is fucking off. And you just, you don't even want to see it. You cool with that. I'm not cool with that, baby. There's AIDS out here. There's STDs out here. I want to know what the fuck going on. Because if I'm asking you for your phone, it's because 
some kind of red flag is going off in my head that something ain't right or i might just need your fucking phone because something's wrong with mine or i just want to check up and make sure you know everything is good real quick i pop up on my daughter at school all the time just to make sure everything is good not because i think she's acting up no i just want to make sure i don't understand what the problem is especially if you're in love you can't see somebody's phone you sound crazy you sound crazy as hell <laughs> ain't no way it's not nah i don't agree with that at all and then people be like i don't go through my man's phone because i don't think he's cheating on me you ain't never been through his phone how the fuck you know what he's doing you just taking his word yes it's good to trust somebody but you know people lie all the time <laughs> I'm, not, I'm just saying you ain't never you ain't never now that must be a good feeling like a man never giving you a reason or a woman never giving you a reason to even think to go through somebody's phone but that just sounds crazy to me that sounds crazy as hell that's like you being married to a man for 15 years and you ain't never been in his car before you see how crazy that sounds like how how does that even work? It sounds like you're scared to find something because you just want to go on living your happy life in denial and shit. You just don't want to know something. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. How you know if your man ain't cheating on you if you, you ain't going through his phone, homegirl? Oh, because he comes home every night? Because he tells you he's not cheating on you? Nah, I don't, I don't, even if I trusted a man that much, I would still have to occasionally just run me that phone real quick. Because anybody could tell you anything. Sometimes you got to go do your, how would you feel to think that you're so in love with somebody? Everything is wonderful in your mind. You thinking everything is good. We're in love. This man ain't showing me no type of nothing that he's cheating on me. We good. And then you find out the whole time he's been cheating on you. How you gonna feel? You done invested all this time because you trust so much that you ain't never did your investigations to really see if they could be trusted. And I'm not just saying, I don't want to sound like I'm like a um, type person where I don't trust people. I just know... I hang out with a lot of homeboys. <laughs> I got a lot of male friends. And they're all different types. They're not all like the same type of person. So I know a lot of different personalities. I get a lot of um, input from my guy friends. And what it's looking like is a man might not be cheating, but a man is going to talk to whoever he wants to talk to. And to me, when you just talking to somebody just because, that might lead, lead to other things. You just have to check up sometimes. Like, don't you go to the doctor occasionally to check the fuck up just to make sure? You might not think you have AIDS, but don't you go to the doctor? Y'all women be getting so mad talking about these men don't never go to the damn doctor. They're not checking up. And then be the men burning the fuck out of these women. Like, it's the same thing with a phone. You can't just be in a relationship and be so blind, so in love that you just, you don't do your research. Time wasted, I'm, I'm not going to say it's time wasted. Well, for people who stay in relationships like 25 years and then get a divorce and then they find out they man is cheating, it's like, that's crazy to me. Because after 25 years, homeboy, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> we in this together forever. But I just can't be... I can't see myself trying to build a business with someone, trusting someone with my money, trusting someone with my children, trusting someone with everything. I'm like an open book. You could be a part of anything, but on your side, something is being held for me. That makes me want to look even more because it's like, damn, everything else is open and available to me, but your phone, why? What you got in there that you don't want me to see? Because like I said before, like with this laptop, you take a laptop, it ain't no thing. If I take your car keys, it ain't no thing. Why is it a thing for me to take your phone? Now, all of a sudden, it's a big problem. I want everybody to, to think about that now. 
Because I can't be the only one with some goddamn common sense. If you're in a real relationship and you love someone, you should be able, y'all should be transparent as hell. That's a relationship. There's people who are married who have joint bank accounts. I don't think I would ever trust anyone that much. <laughs> I don't think I would ever trust anybody that much to have a joint bank account. You could take my phone. I don't give a fuck about this phone. There's people out here who have joint bank accounts and can't go through their person's phone. Huh? Make it make sense. That means they're hiding something, sis. Stop being fucking stupid. The real reason, just, just say, the real reason you don't go through your person's phone is because you don't want to have to react to whatever it is that you that you see. Just say that. Don't hit me with the, oh, I don't go through my man's phone because I trust him. Nah, you just like your situation a lot. You like how things are going and you just don't want to find something. You don't want to slip up on something. Say that. But this whole idea about being in a relationship and not being able to touch your person's phone, like... Why you think you can't? Like, why do you think? Come on now, use your, use your noggin. I don't know. I want to be in the type of relationship where everything is just open. I feel like when you're transparent with somebody, shit goes a lot smoother. You can be trusted. Things just go a lot smoother. And I'm not just saying just the phone. I'm just saying being transparent, period. Just be transparent, period. That's a real relationship to me. I'm not no relationship expert. I just, I just be knowing some shit like, and maybe some people don't touch. They always say, if you go looking, you're going to find. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. I feel like there's some real genuine people out here that they're who, they're exactly who they say they are. So if you go looking, you won't find because they're exactly who they say they are. I believe that. Leave your comments down below. Don't talk no shit to me neither, because... <laughs> don't talk no shit to me. Either you agree or you don't agree, but if you're in a relationship and you can't go through your significant other's phone, I want you to sit and think. Sit and think about why. And then come back and holler at me. <laughs>